Hi everybody, good evening, good evening, how are you? Good evening, Miss. Good evening, how is everybody doing? How is your Hello, Tuesday? Hi guys, how are you? Hello everyone. Hello, hello, thanks a lot for joining. ¿Qué tal chicos, cómo están? ¿Cómo les está yendo su Tuesday? Ya más tranquilos. Yes. Solo han trabajado dos días. <laughs> okay, are you having vacation tomorrow? One day. Yes, one day. So you're having vacation. Okay, great, great. So thanks a lot for joining. Gracias por acompañarnos today. We are going to have session number 19, right? Y terminamos nuestro módulo el día jueves. We are going to be having it on Thursday. Solo, um, yeah, let me just make sure. I have Norbert, I have Karina, Danis, Carlos. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Danis, is por donde anda Danis? La Libertad City. <laughs> Me imagina que se tenía que ir today. Yes. <laughs> okay. Pedrina Moses. Hey, Moses, good to see you. All right. Me alegra que esté descansando. Be careful, please, porque ha estado lloviendo, you know. It's been raining. So thank you, guys. Eh, ¿Van a descansar mañana? ¿Trabajan mañana? Or are you working? Day off. Day off. Okay, yeah. cool. What about the rest? Day off for you? ¿Todos tienen el día libre? Do you have a day off? Day off. No, teacher. Day off. Richard, are you working tomorrow? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow, bárbaro. Nuestros Minimum. respetos, Richard. Minimum. Excellent. Yeah, nice. Como todo buen salvadoreño, you know. Minimum. So, That's me imagino no. que son los días más difíciles <laughs> for you, but the best of luck. Que le vaya súper bien, then. Ya me acostumbré. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, so, besides Richard, ¿alguien más le toca trabajar mañana? Pago doble. No. <laughs> okay, sometimes it's a double no, pay no, for this. Oh, okay. Usted es el trabajador, you know? Mínimo, mínimo, mínimo. Okay. No, but, but the best of luck, because también son money. los días que aprovechan. Exacto, money, exactly. Money. Those are the days you ahí, can ahí work Ahí le voy a prestar después que vengan de la playa. Bárbaro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. No. Siento, le voy a prestar. <laughs> are you are you going to the beach? Alguien va a ir a la playa mañana. Is anybody going to the beach? Well, la parte de Danis que ya está por allá. Danis, you know? <laughs> yeah. Danis, Danis, ahí tengo un pistillo para prestarle. Danis, aparte no es un lugar por allá. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Uh, ¿De ver? Den box, den box. Estamos bien, estamos bien, estamos bien, estamos bien, bien, okay, 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 okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So now that's, let me just move it. Okay, there we go. So, uh, well, thanks a lot for joining. Y que to, a pesar que ya se fueron para la playa, que ya están descansando and everything, nos conectamos a las últimas sesiones, right? So thanks a lot for that. Um, gracias, Carlos. Thank you so much for that. I read your message already. Ok, um, so llegamos hasta ya las últimas sesiones, solamente un par de general comerciales, advertisement that I have for you. El primero es que el día de ahora recibieron la encuesta de, se llama encuesta de calidad o encuesta de InstaFort, como un general reminder, no la completamos todavía. Olvídense que la recibieron, please, porque la vamos a hacer hasta el último día de clases, que es el día jueves. Hoy me asustaron, so, mis. Hola. Hoy me asustaron. ¿Por qué le dijeron? Why? De, de, de inglés corporativo me llamaron que por qué no me había conectado todo agosto. Yo creo que se equivocaron. Agosto y septiembre me dijeron por qué, por qué no he estado. Oh. Y creo, que, creo que no soy yo, le dije. Pero después oh. corroboraron. Después corroboraron y igual me dijeron que estaba bien. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sí, sí me, me imagino. I totally understand. Probablemente hubo alguna confusión, right? 
Sí. Probably there was like a little confusion con su nombre o número de teléfono or something. Mm -hmm. okay. No, pero acá no está en la grabación. No, creo, you know. no, no y, y por eso es importante la grabación. Thank you, Richard. Que no, lo, lo, que pasa, lo que pasa es que antes casi no tenía barba y ahora como ya tiene bastante barba, entonces se confunde. Como ya lo confundieron. Para Papá Noel en diciembre. Okay. Danny Anthony me dijeron. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's getting ready. Oh, ok. Ok, ahí sí. Hola, hola. I didn't receive the... La encuesta no la he recibido. No se la han enviado todavía. Vaya, no se preocupe. Eh, igual, pero, eh, ahora comenzaron a enviarlas. Entonces puede ser que la suya esté todavía pendiente, pero ya la va a recibir. No worries. Um, ok. So, antes de iniciar, solamente déjenme tomar asistencia y pues ya we get started with the activities for today. Un segundo... Un segundo here. So, I have Anita. No sé si Anita ya está por acá. Es martes. No. Eh, Brian. Ya le vamos a escribir a Brian. Eh, Danis. Present. Gracias. Eh, Dolores Saraí. Saraí, todavía no. No. Ok. Eh, Eduardo. Gracias, Eduardo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Nice to hear your voice. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Gracias. Jackie. Todavía no. Jocelyn. Present, teacher. Hola, Jocelyn. Thanks a lot. Ignacio, creo que todavía no, eh, Norbert, present teacher, gracias Norbert, nice, Marvin Bonilla, Ma Alex, no yet, eh, Marvin López, no yet, eh, Clary, No yet. Moses. Creo que por ahí vemos. Moses. Hola, Moses. Thank you. Thank you oh. so much. Nelson. Creo que Nelson no ha llegado a su trabajo. Pedrina. Present, teacher. Gracias, Pedrina. Thanks a lot. Renee. Está bien, ¿no? Richard. Present, present. Gracias, Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Eh, Brenda. I'm missing Brenda. Carlos, por ahí vi a Carlos conectado. Gracias, Carlos. Ya leí su mensaje también. Thank Present. you so much for that. Eh, Claudia. Okay. And Karina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, chicos, Claudia está un poquito mal de salud. Si le pueden mandar un mensajito, you know, that would be just beautiful. Um, let me just check Sorry, something here. Eh, Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. Yeah, yo creo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she was connected yesterday, but she was a little sick. Let me just check something here. Okay, Miss Brian. And I'm missing Brenda. Okay. 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 So let me present my screen here so we can get started. Okay, guys. So uh, since son los últimos días that we are having classes, vamos a practicar tanto como podamos speaking, conversation, um, telling stories para que vayamos, you know, eh, agarrando un poquito más de fluidez as we have been doing these previous days. Eh, to get started, para que podamos iniciar, I have just the following activity for you. Richard, tenemos one on one ahora. So, si me, si me puede ayudar un par de minutitos. Okay, right? Quedándose okay. at the end of the session. Thank right. you so much. And uh, let's get started with the following activity here. Let's take a look at this one. Tenemos primero un par de verbos. Tenemos here, settle, find, marry, give, and that's it. Ayúdenme, please. Help me 
with the negative, I mean, <laughs> help me with the simple past form de estos verbos. For example, here, ya lo revisamos antes. What is the past of here? ¿Alguien se recuerda? Does anybody remember? Here. Okay, here. exactly. So the past of here is heard. Very good. Then we have the next one that is settle, right? Settle. Es regular. This is regular. So, ¿qué le agregamos? What do we add? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué se les agrega a los, a los regulares? Do you remember? So, this is heard. Ah, so we have settle. Ya está acá. ¿Qué me le hace falta? What is missing here? Letter D. Miss. Letter D. Very good. Hi, Clary. Hello, <laughs> Miss. Su voz. Good I evening. Heard your voice already. Good evening. Thanks for joining. How are you doing? Pretty good, Miss. Great. That's really good to hear. Um, help me with the next one. We have fine. What's the past of fine? Um. Mm -hmm. Found, exactly. What about Mary? What's the past of Mary? Mary is. Mm -hmm. This is regular. So, ¿qué letras siguen? What, what are the following letters? Spell that for me, please. I. I. Yes. E D. E D. E D. Very good. So then we have Mary. And the past of give, ¿el cuál es? Game. Okay. Gabe, amazing. Okay, tengo un pedacito de una canción. I have a little piece of a song. Eh, unfortunately, no la podemos poner. We cannot play music. But, eh, me pueden ayudar a completar la letra. <laughs> you can help me complete the lyrics. And uh, we are going to do it like, si se la puede, cantela. <laughs> okay, si se la sabe, cantela. Take a look at this one. Here, we have a piece of the lyrics. Pero nos hacen falta los verbos. We are missing these verbs in these spaces. Now, ¿qué podemos utilizar? What can we use? This is a really famous song from, um, I don't know. Si les digo, it's going to be too easy. The singer is a girl. She is British, if I'm not wrong. It's English or British. She has a beautiful and powerful voice. She is like 30 years old or something like that. So take a look at the lyrics and tell me. What can we use here? I'm going to help you a little with the lyrics, but you gotta help me a little bit with it. Can you put this on? Okay, so el primer espacio dice don't, right? Um, so I'm going to help you with some parts of this song and then you help me with the rest. Good evening, teacher. Hello? Good evening. Hi, hi Ignacio, good evening. Um, okay. Vamos, voy, a, voy a modificarlo. I'm going to modify this because there is a little um, mistake. Okay. We are not going to use this one porque el verbo ya no se cambia. Entonces, just let me move it a little bit like this. Okay. Y comenzamos como I. All right. So, take a look at this one. ¿Qué podemos utilizar en el primer espacio? I'm going to give you the answer. Y luego ustedes me ayudan con el resto. So the first one says, I heard. I heard. The song is uh, from Adele, right? And it is called Someone Like You. ¿La, la, ¿La han escuchado alguna vez? Have you ever heard that song? La de Adele, sí. Yes, that is Adele's song. Okay. So there is someone like you. Unfortunately, no les puedo poner el audio, but imagínense que les están escuchando. <laughs> so just imagine for a second you are listening to this. Okay, I guess se puede la letra. Does anybody know the lyrics? Si no, intentemos adivinarla. So I heard that you are...
And then we have like these little spaces. If you don't know it, I mean, pueden Google it. You can Google it and you can tell me the answer. So what are we missing here? So this is like I heard, yo escuché. ¿Quién ha escuchado la canción before? Who has heard the song before? Only Sonia? Settle down. Okay, settle down, exactly. I heard that you're settled down. All right. And what is the following that you? Found. Found, exactly. So you can help me guys just with the reading part. So that you found the girl and you are. Google it guys and give me the answer. Married. Exactly, that married. you're married now. Very good. Yeah. And then it continues. Oh, yes. I heard. <laughs> okay, I heard. Okay. I heard that your dreams came, came true. Okay, yes, that your dreams came true. Guess she gave. Oh, think. yeah, I guess she gave you things. Uh -huh. I don't give to you. Mm -hmm. I. I'm not sure that I don't give to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you find it as don't give or didn't give? Um, didn't give. Didn't, right? Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for checking the lyrics really quick. Now tell me. It says, I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl, and you're married now. I heard that your dreams came true because she gave you things. I didn't give to you. Now tell me, is this a love song? Is this a happy song? Is that a happy, a romantic, a sad song? ¿Qué tipo de canción es? What type of song is it? Si lo, no la han escuchado, no hay problema. No worries. Uh, le, leamos lo que dice. Try to understand it and tell me what type of song is this. Romantic song. Romantic song? Okay. What about the rest? What do you think? It's pretty sad. It's sad? All right. Pretty sad. Wow. ¿Eso qué significa? Okay. Como de despecho. Okay. Pretty sad. ¿Qué significa? Pretty, pretty. Lo que pasa es que cuando queremos decir como muy, le agregamos la palabra very. Pretty uh -huh. sería otra forma de decir very. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo good, The song is good, pero yo puedo hacerla como mucho mejor agregándole pretty. The song is okay. pretty good. No es como bonita, sino como muy. Mm -hmm. So the song is pretty good, pretty bad, pretty happy, pretty sad. <laughs> okay. Sad es como triste o como... Triste, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So what type of song is this, guys? Boys, girls, ¿la han escuchado? Have you heard it? Clary? Well, Moses, remember. have you heard this no, song before? Miss. Never. Oh my God, guys. No, I can't believe you. <laughs> no, mentiras. Never. Anybody else? O quizás sí, pero I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's a really true. famous song. Never. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. No, but, but don't listen to it. It's super sad. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Yes, Ignacio. What is the name of that song? Someone like you. Someone like you. Down. Yeah, someone like you. She is a really good singer. Su inglés es muy bonito. Her English is Ooh, really like good. Yes. Es como lento. It's kind of a slow. So you can listen to her and you can follow her. Y aprenderse la letra, pues ya ni se diga. It's very nice to sing with her. 
porque no va rápido. And uh, she has very good pronunciation. So my invitation, guys, for today is listen to music, you know. Probablemente les guste alguna. No esta necesariamente. <laughs> because this is a really sad song. So I don't think you would like it. <laughs> good, good okay. Bang. It's a painful song. Yeah, it's yes. como muy de dolida. You know? yeah. Kind of a, para esos días de corazones <laughs> rotos. Mm -hmm. That's the exactly. Moon the rain. Exactly. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you that way. <laughs> but she has good music. Yeah, I mean, it's really tough. Okay. Teacher. All right, guys. Yes, Ignacio, dígame. Someone like you is, is a name that sounds popular because the different different singer to use there are a lot of covers yes yeah. a yeah. lot of different singers sing that song es que es muy bonita the song i mean no la letra <laughs> no what it says pero el ritmo es muy bonito it's a very nice song y creo que ganó grammys i think i'm not sure but she is famous okay Okay, guys, let's just continue. Vamos a movernos un poquito de la parte triste to some practice now. Let's take a look at the following questions we have right here. So um, it says, uh, part of the things that we are going to be doing is talking about training. Es un poquito de los entrenamientos a los que han ido. So listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let me read it. La voy a leer primero. Listen, please, to algunas palabras que puedan ser difíciles o nuevas para ustedes. And then we go and practice it um, that way. So it starts like the, oh, it's entre Jack and Julie. So myself. Let me get started. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, um, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. So they are talking about a training. Uh, first question, guys, ¿de qué fue el entrenamiento? What was the training about? <clears throat> ¿Cuál era el tema? What was the topic? <clears throat> Anybody? Anita? Norbert. Habla de una capacitación. Yes, it was about a training for una capacitación. Exactly. ¿Cuál era el tema del training? ¿Cuál era el tema de la capacitación? Fears and, and prevention. Como primeros auxilios. Exactly. That was primeros yeah. auxilios. First yeah. aid and prevention. Thank you so much. Okay. Where did it take place? ¿A dónde se llevó a cabo? Where was it? Crown Plaza Hotel. Crown Plaza Hotel. All yeah. right. Was it a good training? Was it helpful? Fue útil? Uh, absolutely. Exactly. That was absolutely. Yes. Guys, I have a question for you. ¿Logren escuchar música de fondo here? Or not too much? No, 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 miss. Am I? Es, I was worried porque están los temerarios con todo el vecino. ¿no? <laughs> no, I, was, I was like, no. Okay, okay. Todo llorando okay, no. un rato. Uh, no. The woman for two. <laughs> no, I was like, no, this cannot happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Se puede, le muero todo. Great, great. So, let me. <laughs> no, guys, please don't start singing los temerarios. Okay, okay um, let me. Okay, Richard, thank you. We are going to listen to Richard right now. Okay. You're going to be Jack and But, Moses. Ya que Moses está super ready, let's have Moses. Um, solo le cambiamos el nombre, right? We just no, change no, names. So, Richard, you help me with Jack. And Moses, you help me with Julie. Okay. 
Start. Mm, give, yeah, just give me one second. Okay. Hi, Moses. Uh, this is Jack. I don't know. <laughs> this is Alexis. Uh, how, how are you going uh, at work? Hello, Alexis. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? You're perfect. Uh, lots. I want to know if you attended a hiking last year. We are sending the invite. They invitation um, invitation mm -hmm. invitation for the new new one yes i did the training attendant was about fear uh it's and prevention eight yes. and prevention mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sound good sound good no uh, sound. Where, mm -hmm. where where did it take place it was held at the crown plaza hotel Ah, okay, do you recommend it? It's, um, I, I mean, mean, I mean, they taking, do you feel it help you? Yes, absolutely. Most of these were pleased with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. All right, thank you very much. Exactly. So here people are talking about the training. They just put on training, the first aid and prevention. And I think everybody in algún momento de nuestra vida hemos ido a una capacitación, right? We have gone to a training. So probably a training in Excel, a training with first aid, fire training, uh, the customer service, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the, what we are going to do is this. Vamos a crear una conversación similar a la que tenemos acá, pero le van a cambiar detalles, right? For example, in my case, nunca he ido de primeros auxilios. I have never been to a first aid and prevention. But the training I attended was a fire, fire training. Fue con la brigada de incendios, right? So here, le voy a cambiar. I'm going to change it a little bit. Or I attended a training about what to do in case of an earthquake, right? So, ¿qué hacer en caso de terremotos, for example? Um, the next question says, where, where did it take place? So it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. But my training, ¿dónde fue? Fue en mi lugar de trabajo. It was in my work. It was in my workplace, right? Y le pueden agregar más. Um, did you, I don't know, did you have lunch? ¿Cuántos días? How long was the training? Uh, was it good? Tenemos acá la pregunta. Did you find it useful? ¿Lo encontraron útil? ¿Les gustó el entrenamiento? Or not really, not much. So the person says, yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. In my case, I was very excited. Yo estaba bien emocionada porque aprendí a usar el extintor. <laughs> so I was very excited using um, new things, right? So vamos a cambiarlo, we are going to change it, and then we come and we present it. Antes que nos veamos solo un par de eh, cositas here, practicamos un poquito los pasados de algunos verbos that we have. For example, tenemos el verbo attend. El pasado es attended, right? Attended. Uh, we have yes. also this word, hold, held. It was held. held. Fue <laughs> llevada yeah. a cabo, fue sostenida. So it uh. was held. Mm -hmm. Y la última que es un poquito complicada, I would say, es el verbo learn, aprender. So, everybody, learn. vamos a repetir. Learn, el verbo normal, learn. 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 Ok, ahora, learn. lo único que van a hacer es hacer como la lengua hacia <coughs> arriba, you know, hacia la parte del cielo de la, de la boca. So, learned. Y va a tocar la lengua en la parte de arriba. Learned. Learn. Learned. Solo, solo como si se empujara hacia arriba la lengua. That's yes. it. Everybody, yeah. I want to listen to you. Solo escucho a Dani y a Moses. So. I learned. 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 Normally, la lengua tiene que tocar arriba. So, learned. Learned. Es el mismo uh, learn. Learn. Ahora solo hace uh, Learned. Uh, I 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 learned. Uh, 
learned. Okay, that's it. That, that's the verb. So repeat it, repeat it until you get it. So guys, I'm going to send you to uh, Espero in pairs. Hopefully we can make it in pairs para que podamos practicar as much as possible. Give me one second, then we're going to present it. And hold on, hold on. Solo hago el cambio here. A ver si ya puedo. Yes. A ver si. Okay. 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 I'm going to send you to the groups. Tenemos cinco minutitos. You have five minutes. Cámbienle detalles, right? You can change details. Le pueden agregar más. And I'll see you in a bit. Es la misma conversación. The same conversation, solo modificada. Cinco minutos, chicos. Vámonos. Let's go. Go, go, go. Hola, Claudia. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Brian. Thanks for joining. Uh, me indica si alguien tiene dificultades para entrar, chicos. Eduardo, Clary, Brian. Uh, uh, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Glad to see you. Pedrina, no sé si tiene dificultades para entrar.
Thank you guys for coming back. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos mientras el resto de compañeros regresan too. So I hope everybody have like the chance to practice, eh, especially porque nos ayuda con la parte del de sonido, de la entonación y el ritmo también. So with rhythm. Um, hay compañeros todavía en los grupos, so vienen en tres segundos. They come in three seconds. Let's come back. Wait for it. Okay, thank you. Yes, everybody's back. Okay. Amazing, amazing. So let's get started with this one. Eh, the idea, right, es siempre vamos a enfocarnos en los sonidos importantes. Por ejemplo, si es una pregunta, eh, tiene una entonación específica, right? For example, la primera es, how are things going at work? So hay como un cambio, como una especie de, de flow, right? That we gotta respect para que sea un poco más fácil de identificar que es pregunta. For example, this one is, how are things going at work? Cambia, baja bastante. How about you? Yeah, sube, para indicar que es pregunta. Or for example, this one. I want to know if you, no, this is not a question. Tiene el signo, but no, es, no es pregunta. This one, where did it take place? Right, do you recommend it? So, si logran escuchar ese sonidito al final, no es como, do you recommend it? Or do you recommend it? Or where did it take place? Sino que subimos. Where did it take place? Do you recommend it? All right. Y de hecho, solamente del escuchar eso es, ah, me está preguntando, right? So vamos a practicarlo. We are going to practice also asking questions. Um, voluntarios, tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer? Víctimas? <laughs> no, voluntarios. Okay. Um, Okay, okay, Let, let's go with big teams, okay? Uh, I, can, I can have some big teams. Uh, Dennis, deme un número del uno al six, from one to six. Me? Mm -hmm. uh, from one to six. Three? Three, thank you so much. So group number three, Brian, Danny, Danny, Claribel and Sonia, ni modo, ustedes mismos. Ay, qué suerte tiene. Nos tocaba. Solo estaba con Sonia. Solo estaba con Mabel. Vaya, no hay problema. Okay. Eh, creo que, creo que, eh, oh, no, Marvin is not there. Hey, Marvin, ¿nos escucha? No, creo que me lo está sacando el internet. ¿Estás allí, Marvin? Marvin. Oh, no, ya vino. Ok, ok, ok. Cool. So, Brian, can you hear? Can you listen to us? Clary, can you listen to us? Um, guys, si por el internet no, no tuvieron la oportunidad de practicar en los grupos, no hay problema. Aquí vamos a inventar también y, y pues improvisamos. No, a mí mejor okay. todavía porque vamos a improvisar. Okay. Yeah. So, Dani, eh, Dani, Mabel, ayúdenos con, con su conversation. What do you have? Okay. Hi, Sonia. This is Dani. How are you going at work? Hello, Danis. Everything is fine. Thanks. How, how about you? It's perfect. Look. I want to know if you attended training last month. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training in attendance was on the art of negotiation. Sound good. Where do you take place? Mm. <coughs> Perdón. No worry. No worries. Yeah. It was held at the Inter Real Intercontinental Hotel. Hotel. <coughs> oh, did you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. A lot. That's it. Amazing. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay. okay. Very good. I think we, we follow you. So that was very clear. Oh, all right. So, Mabela, well, I hear you um, coughing. Espero que esté bien. Hope you're fine. <laughs> Just I 
¿Qué es alergia? Uh, soy <risa> alérgica a la práctica. No, me... <risa> está 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 no, my God. No, está llegando a la no. Se so when, yeah. when I have to participate. <risa> okay. Me había no, comido, me había comido un churrito. Ah. <risa> el, oh, el, ch my. el churrito es el, el churrito. Diana. <risa> Por I'm otro sorry. Lado. All right. No worries. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Um, so, Mabel, dígame otro número. <laughs> no sé yes. seis. Tell me Ocho. one number from one to, uh, to six. Four. Eight. Eight. Oh, no, from one to six. Mm. Three. Three. Okay. So, ustedes eran el tres. Another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> otra vez. Uh, two. True. They are super lucky. Otra vez, otra vez. Um, so I had to move from two. So vamos con el primero. Let's go with the first. Uh, Carlos and Claudia, do you have a chance to practice, guys? I don't know if they could practice. Then mercy, Claudia. Second. Give me one second. Claudia, Claudia. Claudia. I don't then they could. I don't think they could. All right. So, mientras los, los escuchamos, are we here if they practiced? Vámonos con el cuatro. So, that would be Anita, Eduardo, and Karina. Girls, did you um, have the chance to practice a little bit your conversation? Si no, no se preocupen, acá la inventamos. <laughs> so, we make it up. Okay. Ana, Dermi. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Amazing. Hello, Karina. How was your work? Hi, Anademi. All this is okay. Thank you. What about you? Just great. I received a training about customer service, and that is amazing. Did you hear about it? No, I didn't, but, but, would you like to explain me, please? Yes, yes, of course. I was held at Hilton Hotel in San Salvador um, during two, two weekends. Oh, do you recommend it? I may like to take, to take it? Yes, absolutely. It will be a great experience in your life. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Nice, beautiful, <laughs> super clear. Okay, so clear throughout. All right, thank you girls. Very thank nice. You. Let's go with group number five. So that is for, let me check, Guadalupe Moses, Pedrina and Richard. So um, I think Pedrina was having some technical issues with the microphone, but let's go, let's go with uh, Moses, Richard, and Guadalupe. So guys, are you ready? Okay. Yes, miss. Let's do it. Okay. Inicie, Guadalupe. Okay. Yes. Hi, Richard, this is Guadalupe. How, how are you think going at work? Hello, Guadalupe. Everything is fine. The thing, uh, how about Joe? You, you. Yeah, perfect. Look, I want to know if I attended a training last uh, year. We are sending the invitation for a new, new one. Yes, I, I did. They Thank you. I attended was about uh, qual quality control. So good. Where did it uh, take place? It was held a uh, day in support. Do you recommend it? It's mean uh, the training did you find and the helpful. Yes, absolutely. Uh, most of was a where place uh, which they expect to speak uh, and practice. I personally learn mm -hmm. a lot. Thank you. 
Thank you. Nice. Thank okay. You okay. Good. That was quite good. The, the way you explained the training as well. Thank you so much for that. And let's go with the last group, right? So that is Dolores and Norbert. I prefer Sarai. <laughs> Sarai and Norbert. Hello, Sarai. Hi. Hi. Hello, Hi, Sarai. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whenever you're I'm ready. ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Sarai. This is Norbert. How are things going at work? Hello, Norbert. It's fine. Thanks. How about you? Uh, just perfect. Looks, I want to know if you attended a training last week. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about finance. Sound good. Where did it take place? It was held at the restaurant Buena Vista. Okay, do you recommend it? it uh, I mean the training. Did you think it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of you were placed with the speakers and practice. I personally learn, learn a lot. Okay, thank you for your information. Thank you. I was muted. Yeah, very nice, guys. I like it. You included some information, so reaccionaron a lo que les estaban diciendo, right? Like, thank you for that. Okay, good, very good. I'm super excited to hear that. Okay, that's very important. Cuando nos dicen algo, agradecemos, right? So thank you for that. Thank you for the information. Very nice, that sounds good. All right, let's move a little bit. And as I said before, vamos a enfocarnos today in your speaking practice. So let's go with the following activity. Para que sigamos practicando un poquito fast and we get ready with this topic. I have the following exercise here. Yes, it's here. Um, simple past tense exercise. Luego vamos con speaking. Change the verbs in brackets to the simple past and be careful with the spelling. I think you already know these verbs. Ya se saben la mayoría. Así que let's go ahead and start working on them. So you have, for example, these verbs. You have go, you have imagine, you have book. Question, ¿qué significa book? What is the meaning of book? No solo libro, ¿cuál es la otra? Any idea? Book, two tickets for the show. ¿Alguna vez han visto la palabra book? Que no sea el libro. Anybody? Reservar. Reservar, perfect, exactly. So we have book, all right? Como usted, ¿qué es lo que reserva? You book a table, you book a, like a concert, or tickets. Um, Tickets, exactly, Pisa. cuando va a viajar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So eso es booking, hacer una reservación oh, a hotel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's booking. Booking, booking for uh, a expo? Restaurants, yeah. expo, exactly. <coughs> De hecho, hay una aplicación que se llama booking.com, booking.com, booking. booking. yes. creo, online. Booking, or booking tracking. Booking tracking, oh, yeah. okay. Okay, nice, yeah. nice, very cool. So es eso, right, hacer reservaciones. Uh -huh. So guys, cuando viajen, you know, no necesariamente lejos. I mean, it can be like to the uh, uh, surrounding countries. This is booking, right? Uh, so we have book, we have collect, we have frighten. Okay, este verbo sí puede ser nuevo, probably. No sé si uh, lo, lo hemos visto antes, frighten. No? What? Frighten? Lo reconocen? Frighten, number <coughs> five. No. Okay, frighten es como que algo me causa miedo, all right? Alguien, oh. algo me, algo me, 
Yeah, eso me da miedo. Sí, ok. Ya. Yeah, yes. Mi este es sería como la misma fobia. Eh, sí, pero no. sí, pero le explico la diferencia. Oh, okay. Okay, sí okay. es como fobia, sí es algo que me da miedo, pero la diferencia está en el uso. Cómo yo voy a utilizar el verbo frighten, right? Eh, so frighten es verbo. This is a verb and that means que me causa miedo. Um, al, por ejemplo, I can say, ¿qué son cosas que me dan miedo? Snakes, snakes yes. frighten, all right, me. Eso me causa miedo. Si se fijan, tenemos sujeto, verbo y luego el complemento. Entonces, el uso es diferente. Por ejemplo, yo tengo la palabra fear, pero yo no puedo decir snakes fear me. No se puede porque quiero decir otra cosa. ¿ya? O tengo, por ejemplo, scary, pero yo no puedo decir snakes scary me. Well, si, eso sí se puede. Eh, snakes kind of scare me out. Pero el uso es frighten es un verbo. Si voy a utilizar esto en pasado, antes me daban miedo, me causaba miedo, entonces solo Life. lo cambio pasado. Snakes Life. frighten me, me causaban miedo. Guys, ¿qué les da miedo? What is something that frightens you? Wife. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, so, well, en yes. el caso de, de Danny, he says, my, my wife is frightened <laughs> me. O yeah. si es presente, no sé, todavía le causa miedo. So frightens me. <laughs> okay. Or if you have a husband, so my husband uh, frightens me. Okay. All right. Or frighten me. Guys, ¿qué les causa miedo? My mother. <laughs> my mother ah. scares me out. Okay. ¿Qué les causa okay. miedo? What is something that uh, frightens you? The mouse. Mouse, como los ratoncitos. Los mouse. Okay. Mouse. Uh, so <coughs> mouse, a mouse frightened me. All right, very nice. Algo más? ¿Qué les causa miedo? What are you afraid of? How do you say reptiles? Reptiles. reptiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reptiles. Todos los reptiles. Solo los <coughs> okay, so <coughs> reptiles. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Reptiles. All right. O las cucarachas voladoras. <laughs> uh. Not much. It's a no. kind of panic. Yes. No hay miedo. <laughs> ok, It's so cámbiamele ahí. Yes. Yes. <laughs> for me. Yes. The, I'm scared to the shadows or the dark. Ok, so uh, no. darkness frightens darkness. me. So, yeah, yeah, so darkness, la oscuridad. Ok, ok, darkness. No so, fear, Ignacio, no fear. Teacher. No, no. Yes, yes, Moses. No, that was Norbert, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Tell okay. me. Teacher, I, I, I say the shadows of the darkness. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Sombra en oscuridad. Sombra, oh. Sombras. Sombras en oscuridad. Shadows. Oh, yeah. shadows in the dark. Sombras yeah. en oscuridad. Shadows yes. in the dark. Okay. Good. Frighten me. It's a good. Oh. Okay. Well, I have to change this for noises in my case. Adi, like Adi. noises in the dark. Norbert, Diame, Adi. tell me Adi. what uh, it frightens uh, you. The animals, uh, Spider Man, the horse. Spider Man. Ah, the horse. <laughs> the horse. Ah, okay. The horse. <laughs> ah, like a tarantula. <laughs> a tarantula. <laughs> a tarantula. <laughs> okay. Spider on the horse. Okay, bien, bien Norbert. Give me one second. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So we have tarantulas. They frighten me. Well, in my case, it's noises in the dark. So when suddenly se escuchan ruido raro, right? <laughs> well, Lupe, ¿qué le da miedo? What is something that scares you out? Something that frightens you. The earthquakes. Ah, yeah, los temblores. Okay, mm. so earthquakes. Uh -huh. También están los, los como los temblores suavecitos. Mm. Um, reciben otro mm. nombre. No, es un temblor, right? 
temblor y terremoto. So, tremors son los suaves. Son los suaves. <laughs> tremors, yeah, and the other one, earthquake, exactly. Yeah. So, earthquake. Earthquakes frighten me. All right. So, esa es la diferencia. In my case, uh, finally, die. Finally? Die? La, la muerte, death? Yes, yes. Oh, ok. Mm, I know, like. Solo que en uh -huh. ese caso sí quizás podemos usar scared. We can use scared. Because frightening ah, es algo que me hace como sobresaltar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Algo como, ay, me asustaste. <laughs> ok, yeah, that would be kind of it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Scares. Ok, yeah, but it works. So ese es el, the meaning of it, frighten. Luego tenemos eat, feel, grow. Guys, what is the past of grow? El pasado de grow, anybody remembers? Ray. No remember. Uh, cambia una letra. Por ahí alguien la dijo? Grow. Grow. No. Una letra yeah. nada más. Grew, yeah. exactly. Grow, grew. Mm -hmm. So there we go, grow and grew, exactly. Uh, and then we have a lose, right? De perder algo. What is the past of lose? Lose it? Lose. Mm, loss. 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 Exactly, lose and lost. There we go, loss. very good. Lost, exactly. So, ayúdenme con los pasados. Number one, they all... Went. Went. Yes, they all went shopping. Number two, I never... Imagine. Mm -hmm. Exactly, with D. I never imagined I would see you here. Nunca creí verte. <laughs> y menos aquí. <laughs> I never imagined I would see you here. Number three, we. Es regular. This is regular. Book. Mm -hmm. Exactly, book. Oh, yes. So le agregamos el sonido de la T al final. Booked. Book. That is booked. Okay. So we booked two tickets. Number four, we collect. ¿Cuál es el pasado de collect? Es regular. Collected. Collect. Collected, exactly. We collected his children from a school. So collect is como recoger, right? No necesariamente coleccionar, but puede ser como recoger. Okay. Number five, were you? Frigan. Frigan. Mm -hmm. Esa um, palabra eh, es frighten, right? De asustar. Frighten. Were you frightened, frightened of the dark when you were young? ¿Le tenían frightened. miedo a la oscuridad? Were you frightened of the dark? Frightened. No. Mm -hmm. No. Cuando estaban pequeños, when you were young? Yes. I was shy. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. No. I was frightened of el CPT o el así when I was young. Okay. <laughs> so that is frightened, que es le tenía miedo, right? Uh, number six, who, el pasado de eat. Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight, all right. Who ate my chocolate? Number seven, I feel. ¿Cuál es el pasado de feel? I felt. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Number eight, we grow. El pasado, we? Grew. Grew, exactly. Yeah. We grew tree from a seed. Grow es como crecer, plantar también. So, en este caso es plantar. We grew this tree from a seed. Cuando sembramos algo, es grow. Uh, number nine, she? No. Lost. lost her way home. So, ella se perdió. She lost it. Mm -hmm. Number ten, We thought I, el pasado de steal. Stole. Stole. He thought I stole his umbrella. All right. Guys, alguna vez han perdido? Have you ever been lost? Yes. Number nine, lost. Yes. Alguna yes. vez han perdido en algún lugar? Have you ever yes. gotten lost? Yes. Yes. Tecla, sí. In tecla. Yes. I got lost. Hace muchos años, a lot of, a lot of, but a lot, a lot of time ago, eh, in, near University of El Salvador, y terminé en la, en la Santísima Trinidad, you know, <laughs> a very dangerous area now. Thanks God, en ese es tiempo estaba bueno. tranquilo. Yeah, bueno. yeah, but that was like, you know, bad. <laughs> okay, so that is get lost, all right, I got lost. 
Okay, now guys, we have idea of some of these verbs. Entonces vamos con la siguiente. Estamos hablando de trainings, stories. Take a look at the following. Here we have these pictures. We have letters. We have people cleaning. Yeah. We have Excel. <laughs> okay. Excel. We have a car crash. We have a person saying like, oh my God. Yeah. So, ¿a quién se parece esta persona? No, nobody's right. Para ponerle nombre. So, Norbert. Norbert. <laughs> Alguien que tenga no. barba like this. Somebody with a beard <clears throat> like this. Danis. Uh, Richard. Yeah. That, yeah, I, I, but I don't see any resemblance. <laughs> okay, y tenemos esta maquinita. How do you call this machine? ¿Cómo le llamamos a la máquina donde, you know, you get cookies Spencer? or you get... Um, or... Uh, let me write it down. This is called Spencer. a bending machine. Le llamamos una máquina, a bending. Ah, That's bending. a bending machine. Bending. That's okay. a bending machine, yes. Okay, what are we going to do? Vamos a crear una historia incorporando todas estas pictures. All of these pictures, todas. putting them together, todas, all the pictures, putting them together usando conectores, pero no lo vamos a hacer solos. We are not going to do it alone. You no. are not alone, guys. <laughs> we are going to make no. stories in groups. Ignacio? Creo que escuché la voz de Ignacio, probably not. Okay, so we are not going to do it alone. We are going to make only one story, una en todo el grupo, one story as group, and then we come back y vamos a, por supuesto, presentarla. So you can okay. select, pueden seleccionar un miembro para que nos cuente la historia, or um, todos nos cuentan un pedacito para que todos participen, you know, and everybody can speak a little bit. So I'll give you 10 minutes, solo 10 minutitos, so you can go make the story, create it. Usamos conectores, please. Try to use as many connectors as you can, como later and also, but eh, after that, para que nuestra historia tenga eh, mejor conexión. So you can write it down, o se la van inventando en el aire, como le sea más fácil. Whatever works okay. for you. Guys, let's go to the groups. Tome la fotito, you can take a picture. And uh, let's go for it. Let's create your story. Guys, me avisan si tienen dificultades entrando. Richard, sí, Moses. No, no me apareció. La no le apareció. Ve, deme un segundito. Ahorita lo reenvío. Deme un segundo. Me confirma ahora si la logra ver la invitación, por favor. Ok. Ve, great, great, Bye. great, great. Thank you. Eh, Eduardo, too, let me know. Jocelyn, let me know si tienen algún issue entrando. Hola, Alex. Eh, Marvin, let me know si puede entrar, porfa, Clary, Mozas, let me know si tienen dificultades o si no logran ver la invitación.
Puede. 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 Puede.
la televisión. Póneme la tele. Va a ver Netflix. Netflix. ¿Qué onda, Brian? ¿Será que yo me equivoqué o qué onda? Porque no veo a nadie conectado. Lo que tenía que hacer. <ríe> no me pusiste en el... Estás prendiendo. Ay, puta, te calmas. No deja ni hasta luego justo a uno que lo desespera. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Claudia. Thanks a lot for joining. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you doing? Good, teacher. Nice. Oh, enjoy your meal. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, uh, well, it, it sounds like you had a really tough day today. Are you resting tomorrow? ¿Vas a descansar mañana? Or are you working? Sí, mañana voy a descansar. Ah, okay. Nice. That's good news. <laughs> I know. I'll sing. Sí, no, that's important to, to have some time out. So thanks a lot for joining. Ya ahorita regresan los compañeros. So they are coming back in just a bit uh, to share the story. So hold it on. Okay, teacher, que no me salía nadie. Ya estaba preocupada. No, no, no. They were practicing. That's why. Um... Sí, creo que no, no me la conectaba tampoco. So, but no worries, They, they're coming back. Teacher, perdón que no he puesto atención todo este mes, pero ha sido difícil. Bueno, todos estos días. I imagine so, but, but no worries. Igual yo le agradezco estar súper pendiente and, uh, y completarme las actividades. So I have seen that. So thanks a lot for that. No worries. No worries. Ya el otro pues. Ya, ya, bueno, de hecho ya casi comenzamos el siguiente, así que es de meterle 
con todo, right? So, because it's intermediate. <laughs> so you're going straight to intermediate. Mm -hmm. Espero que no me cueste. No, no, para nada. Es, remember that, eso es una cuestión de, de repetición. Entre usted más repite, más repite, más repite, eso se va a volver más fácil. This comes easier. Uh -huh. Mejor fluidez, más vocabulario. Cuesta menos recordarlo porque ya lo repite muchas veces. Entonces, just is a matter of repetition. Hello, guys. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for coming back. Déjenme solo confirmar si me falta alguien o ya todos están back. I believe, yeah, everybody's back. Okay, amazing. So here we have this story. Um, vi por ahí que algunos me hicieron historias, otra conversación. Perfecto, no hay ningún problema. As long as we use the vocabulary, we are super good. So this is like, estábamos hablando de trainings. Um, the previous conversation, de hecho, era sobre algunos trainings that we can have. No sé si alguna vez han tenido trainings de algo, de algo que tenga que ver con esto, right? <laughs> For example, Excel training. Have you been to an Excel training? ¿Alguien ha estado en un training de Excel? No, really, no yet. No, no really. No. Uh, or, for example, el vending machine yes, que representa ventas. Yes, miss. Ok. Yes, miss. En el área de ventas o en sales department. Excel department. Uh -huh. We have, for example, esto que es como un angry, anger management, un control de las emociones o control de enojo, de ira. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, the, oh. the, 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 four, the four elements, water, air, fire, on, se me olvidó el otro. <laughs> air, <laughs> water, air. air. Fire. Air, air and nerves. Ah, uh -huh. Air and air. Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. So we have like anger management or the, uh, well, para los chicos que, que trabajan con uh, insurance, right? So me imagino que deben de tener algún tipo de training in this regard. Or we have Richard, for example. Um, ¿Qué más trabaja con área técnica? Um, well, Ignacio too, no es precisamente con eso, pero tiene un poco que ver con technical areas. Yeah. Um, yes? Yeah, include uh, even, sorry, even I, I received the training for Microsoft in the mm -hmm. Futura Tower at the 10th floor, you know? Ah, the last one. Yeah. Super cool. ¿En, en qué empresa? Wait, ¿cuál es la última? O solo es un salón. No, micro. Uh, Or is it Microsoft? El último piso, Microsoft. the last floor. No, the, the, no, no the last floor. It's the 10th floor. The 10th. How many floors are there? Uh, 20. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Creo que he estado arriba, but no tan arriba. <laughs> I have been like in the, no, probably like in the 5th or the 7th. All right. Okay, cool. Creo que no, no tengo a nadie uh, in the group. Hay alguien que esté en el área de cocina. No, right? Chef, cook, line cook. No, no right? Na, nadie. Uh, Dan, is, Dan, Dan, is, Dan is chef. Mm, no, but, but I mean, como, como profesión, like, like an occupation, like a profession. No, no. right? Uh, no, I Dan, don't have sorry, any chef. Sorry. Danny is bartender. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. No, tampoco tengo bartenders here. Yes. <laughs> Or bakers. Uh, All right. Cata, cata. A catering. Un no, catador. Cata. Yes, catering. A ca cutter. Uh -huh. <laughs> a, a cutter. Okay. Yes. Or in the cleaning service, I think we don't have. Okay, but anyways, vamos a crear esta historia and let's listen to your stories. Si no lo han terminado, no se preocupen. Tell us whatever you have. So let's start, vamos en orden. Let's start with group number one. Eh, that is Ignacio, Danis, eh, Clary, Moses, Pedrina. Guys, cuéntenos su historia. Tell us your story. Uh, my group. Only Ignacio in me. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. but, but it's perfect. It's perfect. More practice for you. Okay. So tell us what's your story. Okay. No. <laughs> I, no. 
the story is, uh, let's go to the, the, the market. Uh, are purchased the, the two set? The lettuce, the lettuce, the lettuce, uh -huh. the lettuce. Ah, um, I opened the market is the people cleaner, the, the strip. I go, I go the, the work, the work in use it, Excel. And, and the, today, all, all day, um, after office, I go into the cafe alone. Continue, Ignacio. Mm -hmm. Hey, este, Dan is going to the cafe alone, but, <laughs> but, but him is a stress man because the, the, um, where, where What's he is going to shop the lettuce at the, but sorry, but him is in the La Libertad beach. And yeah. him returned to Santa Tecla. And in Santa Tecla, have too much diri. I don't know. And uh, and him is a stress man and a crush. But but him does search a vending machine, but uh, by the papita. I don't know, no papita. French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. Yeah. French fries. Yeah. It's relaxed. It's relaxed. But the final, but the final that history is, is a happy, is a, is a happy story. Final, is a yeah. end, in, in happy. Okay, so even though there was an accident, it had a happy ending. Y todos fueron felices. And never everybody lived happily ever after. Okay. Okay. So like like normally most of the stories is like live happily ever after. Es como todos vivieron juntos para siempre. So Everybody lived happily, happily ever yeah. after. Okay. <laughs> That's Thank the you, way. Miss. Thank you so much for your story. Yeah. Okay. Very creative. Yeah. I like it because eh, fue como bastante um, kind of improvised. So that is nice porque nos ayuda yes. a traer el vocabulario. Very good job on that. <clears throat> Let's go with group number two. Eh, Anita, Brian, Claudia, eh, Eduardo. Jocelyn Norbert, Richard, and Mabel. Guys, what's your story? Let us listen to you. Me, teacher. Perfect, please. Okay, um, our story goes like this. Early in the morning, I prepared some bread with the lettuce. Then I went to Excel class. On the way, I saw uh, some young people cleaning the street. There was traffic because of an accident and I was late. That made me feel stressed, but I learned a lot in the class. Uh, in my free time, I eat a cookie from the vending machine, only that. Okay, thank Eso. you. Oh. That was nice. That was a really good description. Super clear, fácil de seguirla, you know. That was nice, nice. ¿Alguien más va a agregar algo más from your group? No. No, ella fue la portavoz. Yes, yes. So Mabel fue la designada por el grupo. Yes. Okay. Bravo. Okay. That's nice. Thanks a lot. Let's go with the last group, but not the least. So that is Carlos, eh, Saraí, Guadalupe, Karina, and Nelson. Guys, what's your story like? Can we make a, a conversation? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. No worries. Okay. Today we clean the street in front of the school. Teacher, but today we had our Excel quiz. Yes. But you should give me a snack of the vending machine. Teacher. 
but the snacks are hun hun healthy. We prepare delicious salad with lettuce. lettuce. Mm, today was a really bad day. Why, teacher? What happened? I had a car accident. Oh, no. That sounds really bad. I felt afraid. And the other driver, we are very furious. So sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fue mal en la coordinación. Tú hear that. Me asustaron. Technical problems, teacher. No, but that was good. The idea was amazing. Me imagino que era como decirle juntos, right? Uh, <laughs> They were planning to say it together. They inspired me. They scared you out. No, come on. That was very nice. <laughs> That was a really good description and a very good story. I like the conversation and everybody participated. So good job with this. Guys, um, what has been the best training? ¿Cuál ha sido el mejor entrenamiento del que han ido? What is the best training you have been to? You told us like some of the story behind. <laughs> Now tell us the training. <clears throat> is any specific training you liked? Uh, Power BI. Power BI, what's that? Yeah. Can you explain to us a little bit about it? Is uh, um, OBI is uh, the tour is analyzing the, the data, mm -hmm. the big data, mm -hmm. for example, uh, the history, the the cause, the last year or five year, the last, last in. ¿Cómo se dice como cruzar? Cross. Cross, cross like the, uh -huh. cross, cross in the cell and coast. Mm -hmm. Of coast for churches and the inventory. This is interesting. The, for mm -hmm. The metric, the metric in. Toma, como, okay, toma yeah, this, is that a, that sounds like a program, right? Is, is, is similar or Excel. Okay, okay. Similar yeah. Excel, pero es más como visual, más visual. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for that es como, <laughs> es como una tabla dinámica potenciada, ¿no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Es más din es, 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 So when you say that it is like Excel, but more visual, it comes yes. to me like the like images, como gráficas, things like yeah. those. Yes, okay. it's, yes. It's mm, okay, okay, mm. very interesting. So yeah. what about the rest of you? What has been the best training? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Guadalupe? Yes. Lupita, Lupita. <laughs> what, what has been the best training you have gone to or you have been to? I have training the, the excellent, excellent too. Ah, okay. Was it a good training? Yes. How I like the, the, the form, formula. Formulas, okay. Yes. Are they useful in your workplace? Yes, I use. Okay, okay. What about the rest of you guys? So what has been the best training ever, ever? The, the, other, the other training is, mm -hmm. is uh, the use in Kotel. Okay, so yeah. I think that you receive like very specific trainings, right? Like yes. with formulas, numbers, because of your area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahora también hay un nuevo. So there is a new one that all companies are focusing on. Eh, con money laundry. So con lavado de dinero. So I don't know ah. if you have heard about it. You have been Para there. Para prevenir. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So money laundry prevention, right? Yes. I'm going to write it down. That is another one. Probably you have been sent to. So the training, 
the training boom right now is use Bitcoin. Oh, fueron algún, <laughs> bueno, de hecho, eh, Norbert nos iba a explicar un poquito de los Bitcoins. Ah, ese es Norbert. Yeah. <laughs> Ella comprometió Norbert. Norbert. <laughs> Ella comprometió Norbert. Guys, ¿han ido algún <laughs> entrenamiento de Bitcoin so far? No. No. In your companies, no. los han no. ofrecido? Have they been offered? Uh, yeah, I offer, but no, no interest. I okay. don't want. No. You don't want. Okay. No. What about no. the rest of you? Um, especialmente los los que trabajan como en, en bookkeeping, finance, eh, guys. Service. Mm -hmm. So we got. For example, Nelson, eh, Sarai, eh, ¿qué más? Let me see, let me see. Pedrina, no, Pedrina es más human resources. Eh, ¿Qué más es de finance? Yeah, those are the ones I remember. Eh, Danny, well, también uh, Mo, Marvin, Marvin, you're in finance. Guys, ¿les han, les han dado eh, trainings de Bitcoin so far? If for the moment, no teacher. Yeah, because I remember you said comment, right? That in your company, estaban queriéndolo uh, aplicar or something. Les habían explicado un poquito. Yes, it's, it's over. O, otro, como decirlo, otra wallet. No es del gobierno. Ah, okay. So you have a different wallet. All yeah, right. Well, yes. but, but so far, todavía no tienen training. No. No entrenamiento. No, for the okay. moment, no. Okay, okay, I see. What about the rest? ¿Alguien más ha recibido Bitcoin training? Para que nos den un entrenamiento, guys. <laughs> so you can help us a little bit with this topic. Not really. Okay, okay. No worries. No, hopefully, no. So, so hopefully, uh, we can all get it antes que comience a circular, right? Okay, guys, uh, look, it is just about time. El día de ayer quedamos pendientes con algunos compañeros que nos iban a hacer una, History. que iban a ser uh, voluntarios, you know, dándonos um, a little presentation. Okay. Dijimos dos minutos, pero creo que está larguito. I think it's quite long. <laughs> okay, so one minute, that is just fine, I think. So let me just present the topics that we had from yesterday. Y veamos algunos compañeros are around. So they can volunteer. Eh, I got, well, de hecho, acá tengo la lista, but I don't know. <laughs> so we got Carlos, Clary, ya que se me fue, ya que, no, I didn't see her yesterday. I didn't see her today, I think. Okay, so pretty much la idea era que nos contaran un poquito sobre um, any story you've seen or answering this. Todas las preguntas se conectan, son sobre like stories back in the school days. Um, so, is anybody around? Están por aquí? Creo que algunos eh, had to work or something. Yeah, I don't think they get around. So, Carlos was not here. I don't see aquí. Okay, so no worries. Tenemos algún voluntario? Do we have any volunteer? Does anybody want to help us? and uh, talk a little bit about his or her experience, algo que no, no hayamos escuchado so far. Mm -hmm. You can select a question from the ones that we have right here and tell us about it. Let me see, I can't escuchado today. Let me just go and select. Sarai, hello. <laughs> okay, Sarai, you're going to be my volunteer. I saw you just there. Okay. Um, we didn't come to hear your story, Sarai, so I want to listen to a little bit about your, um, I don't know, school days, university or college days. Sarai, me lo can you hear me? In my case, mm -hmm. the most, uh, the class, Difficult for me mm -hmm. it is Mathematicas 4, 4. Okay, math. All right. Math Why? Four. 
because the teacher is very is very um complicated com complicated um strict it's difficult mm -hmm. strict. okay he was strict Um, I think you're cutting off a little bit. <laughs> Creo que se me cortó yes. ser ahí. I couldn't hear you um, anymore. Yes. <laughs> okay. A anything else you want to tell us? Algo más que quiera agregar? Anything else? No. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Mabel, let us listen to Mabel. <laughs> okay. Mabel, tell us. Well, you can select an equation from here. Tell us your experience. Ay, me agarró en curva. Pero... <laughs> Puedes seleccionar cualquiera. You can select any of them. Just give us some information. No sé, no se me ocurre nada. Pero mucho. For example, number 10. Did you make really good friends? Yes, I'm really good friends. Um... Like in, voy, like, voy, a le, voy a elegir el 10, pero no puedo pasar de, de último para yo me voy a preparar. <laughs> no worries, <laughs> no worries, no worries, no worries. Let's do the following, okay? Para que, you know, we can uh, participate y se sienten más listos for that. Um, on Thursday es nuestro último día. That's going to be our last day of classes, right? Um, so to listen to everybody. Um, y para que lo puedan preparar un poquito, so you feel ready for that, practicing los pasados and everything. Uh, preparemos todos, you know, everybody, let's prepare, pero dos minutos es bastante for us. One minute, 30, no, dos minutos, guys. <laughs> okay, no, si van a intermedio, come on. <laughs> you can definitely make it. All yes. Right. So you can do it, guys. I'm... You can definitely do it. Preparemos. Yeah. Any story, like, I'm going to leave the topic. Siempre que lo utilicemos en pasado, les voy a dejar libre para que nos puedan contar any story, right? Uh, puede ser algo que les pasó en el trabajo, anything that happened at your workplace, back in the school days, um, back in your childhood. So, siempre cuando usamos pasado, we are super good with that. Prepare it, practiquenla, ya que algunos van a descansar el día de mañana. Practice it as much as you can. Y pues, you know, we go for it on Thursday. Uh, solo un little reminder, no tenemos clases mañana, nos vamos a ver hasta el Thursday. Ah, oh. um, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. So that is reminder number one. <laughs> reminder number two, eh, la plataforma, chicos, necesito que me la terminen mañana. So I want you to finish it tomorrow. No les va a tomar mucho tiempo, no está difícil. Eh, y ya pues el jueves ya no estamos con la preocupación de, uy, no lo he hecho, right? De ya no tengo tiempo o, o pasó algo. So, please, finish Eso es todo el problema con un dos. No. Eh, hay un ejercicio que me comentó Guadalupe en Clary el día de ayer. Ya está solucionado. It is solved. Eh, es el ejercicio del número 16. Ejercicio 2 de, de la 16. Revisenlo, yeah. porfa. Ya está solucionado. Y si todavía tienen dificultades, eh, let me know. Lo revisamos ahora y ya estaba bien. Pero, sí. you know, por okay. si acaso, let us know. Um, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Solamente esos reminders. Primero la plataforma. No hay clases tomorrow. No se vayan a conectar. Tranquilos. <ríe> Nos vemos hasta el Thursday. El jueves sí, siga. Es tempranito, porfa. Y la tercera. Eh, para quienes ya recibieron el WhatsApp o el correo, algunos fue correo, de la encuesta de calidad de Insafor, no entren, no la tomen todavía. Eso lo hacemos hasta el día jueves, que ya lo vengamos y lo hagamos juntos, right? So, eh, pretty much, esos son parte de los anuncios that I have for you. No sé si tienen como dificultades con otro ejercicio o estamos súper bien. Are we good? Lo cual espero que sí. So, para el día jueves solamente pre eh, preparemos una presentación rapidito de Simple Past. 
Eh, de ser posible, tómense el tiempo. Practiquen que lleguen a dos minutos. Invéntense si no lo logren. Yo no know, invéntense más información. La idea es que practiquemos tanto como sea posible. Um, solo le voy a tomar asistencia antes de irnos para que ya podamos. You know, be dismissed. Gracias, Alex. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Ana Delmi, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, por ahí creo que está Brian. Present teacher. Gracias. Thank you so much. Saraí. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jackie. I didn't see Jackie today. Ignacio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ya escuchamos Bye. a Alex. Alex uh, Marvin López. Eh, eh, Moses, Moses está por ahí. Nelson, a Nelson lo escuché hace unos segundos. Gracias, Clary. I am here, Miss. Thank you so much. Eh, René, creo que René estaba trabajando, right? He couldn't come. Yes. And René was working. Okay. Uh, let me just check it out. Eh, Brenda, gracias, Brenda. Thank you so much. Present. And por ahí veo a Claudia también. Que se mejore, Miss. Hope you can get over super Thank soon. you, teacher. And yeah, Present, we're Miss. good. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, thank you. I got you. Okay, everybody. So nos vemos el día jueves. Eh, I'll be seeing you on Thursday. Have a wonderful yeah. night. Que descansen, guys. Disfruten su día. No. And see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bring me. Bye. See you. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Uh, bye. Denme un segundo, Richard. Give me just a second. Bye. <laughs> Let me just clean this up. Let me just. Okay, ahí estamos. So, gracias. Thank you so much for staying. Eh, pretty much, vamos solamente a practicar un poquito. Si tiene dudas con algún ejercicio, any homework or anything, podemos revisarlo. Um, in general, I mean, ha mejorado bastante, Richard. You have made like a big, big improvement. Solamente de seguir practicando un poquito con grama, right? Lo demás lo está haciendo súper bien. Um, ¿Tiene alguna preguntita for me? Or practicamos un poco. Do, do we practice simple past tense? Ya practiquemos mejor. Okay, amazing. Um, let me just display some questions. Let me ask you. Practiquemos simple past eh, para que vayamos buscándole un poquito de forma, right? Eh, solamente le voy a pedir que se recuerde un poquito de la estructura, sujeto, verbo, right? Y el verbo va en pasado. So simple past questions. Ok. Sujeto, verbo. Sujeto, sujeto verbo. verbo. Por ejemplo, I went, I visited, I didn't go. Sujeto, verbo. Uh -huh. Eso es como el orden, right? Vale, le voy a preguntar, le voy a hacer acá un par de preguntas, eh, bastante, que hemos, hemos repetido un poquito para que, you know, eh, ay, perdón, lo estoy compartiendo y no debo, ok, vale, utilicemos estas preguntas, let's use the questions that you have in my screen. So take a look at this one. Here we have, um, for example, what did you eat for your last meal? Uh, meal is como la última comida. So what did you yes. eat for your for your for your last meal? Tengo que responderla o tengo que pasarla al, al pasado? No, no, no. Uh, Respondamela. Answer that to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's Sujeto verbo, I ate, I, I have, I took, uh -huh. I ate, ate um, chicken. Okay. Yes, chicken, um, 
que más. You see, you see the orange. Mm -hmm. So orange sería, juice. Sería, uh -huh, orange juice. Sería drink. Mm -hmm. no? Sí, va. Drinks. Uh, you, orange juice. Um, mm -hmm. Sería pasado. I drank. I drank. I drank. Se me super me confundo con el perro. I drank uh, orange juice. Uh -huh. I drank uh, coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. I drank tea. Uh, avena, no sé cómo se, no, no se me olvidó. Oat, oatmeal. Ahorita oatmeal. se le escribo. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Uh -huh. oatmeal. oatmeal. Uh, I, I ate uh, a tuna. I ate? Ate. Eight. Uh -huh. Como el número ocho. Eight. Eight. Ok. Eight a tuna. Eight a uh, ensalada. I ate. I ate. Uh -huh. Exactly. Se ve como un, un poco raro because está repitiendo, pero esa es la forma adecuada. I y luego el verbo. Uh -huh. Ok, Ay, very me confundo, good. Me confundo con las, con las con algunas palabras. No, 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 but you're doing fine. Solamente es de recordarse, siempre va a sujeto verbo. I ate, I, I drank, I ate. I, uh -huh. I ate a tuna, ¿verdad? I uh, ate tuna. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, okay. That's it. Okay, ah, very good, very good. Okay. <laughs> what about the last one? Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. So, en las últimas 24 horas, in the last 24 hours, ¿qué hizo? What did you do? Ah, okay. Um, I uh, visit. El pasado. I visited. Visited uh, uh -huh. jeans. Uh -huh. I I working. Worked. Uh -huh. Exactly. I worked. Working. I uh, worked. Um, Utilizamos también un poquito los conectores. Como, vaya, por ejemplo, si me va a contar de las 24 horas. Eh, puede ser en orden, como first, then, after that, and later, para ir como una después de la otra. For example, my 24 horas comenzaron ayer a las 10 de la noche, let's say. Yes. So yesterday I went to bed at uh, 12, I went to bed at midnight, um, then I woke up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Entonces, para utilizar como esos enlaces. Ajá, eso, right? eso, es lo, eso es lo que me falta y no sé cómo aprenderme lo que Vaya, sea, Ahorita cómo... practiquémoslo. Let, let's practice it up. Eh, los conectores que usamos pueden ser first, si hay como un orden, puede ser first, Primero. second, ah, okay. third, ¿verdad? Pero si hay como un orden de algo específico, primero, segundo, tercero. Y si solamente es como después de esto, yo hice lo otro, yo hice otra actividad, puedo utilizar cualquiera de las siguientes. Puede ser then, puede ser later. Ellos no tienen un orden específico. Puede ser after that. Puede ser uh, next. Y pues si hay una última, puede ser finally. Entonces, para estos, los primeros, no tienen un orden que primero tengo que usar then o después later. No, puede usarlos en cualquier orden. So, por ejemplo, si yo le cuento mi mañana. So, today morning, first, I, would, I woke up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Después de eso, later, I took a shower. I started working at 7. Y después desayuné a las, a las, no sé, como a las 9 de la mañana. So, after that, I had breakfast. Okay. Eh, in the at noon, como el mediodía, at noon, I made a lunch for myself. Uh, I made a soup. And then, es como, so, es, ellos solamente se van siguiendo, pero no tienen okay. orden. Los puedo utilizar como se quiera. Uh -huh. Va, intentamos, uh, Richard. Give it a try. Okay. okay. Uh, first, uh, class, 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 uh, English. Uh, second sleeping. Uh, uh, se, okay. Ahora otra vez. I slept. Ah, Or I, I went to bed. Ajá, siempre uh, sujeto verbo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, first, um, I, I class English. Uh, second, I slept. Mm -hmm. uh, 
thing, morning. No, sería so next. Mm -hmm. uh, morning. Uh, I visit. Mm -hmm. uh, Jing. Mm -hmm. uh, next. Next. Uh, no sería desayuno. Se me ha ido. I have breakfast. I, I have, have breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, next. I, Cam I, cambi ahora cambiamos el next. Úseme otro uh, para que no se that's, repita. That's, then, then, later, then, after uh, that, next. Cualquiera de esos para que no lo repita, no los puede cambiar. Mm -hmm. lay, later. Later. Uh -huh. Later. Uh, I, I work. work. Mm -hmm. um, then, then I visit a client. I visited. I visited a client. Super bien. Um, next, um, ¿cómo, puede, ¿cómo se dice? De, ¿qué? Se me ha ido la idea. De, bueno, ya dije todo lo anterior. Tendría que ser ahora. Sería arrival. Mm -hmm. well, well, si fue en la noche, por ejemplo, en la tarde me puede decir in the afternoon, or, okay. or I arrive, y me dice la hora, puede ser. Uh, mm -hmm. all right. All I right. arrive. I arrive. I arrive. Yes. I arrive. Uh, uh, arrived. Arrived. Yes. Arrive at uh, 8 p.m. class English. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Super no bien, sé, Richard. No, you no did it más. nicely. <laughs> ya se quedó sin ideas. No, yes. pero you know, super bien. De hecho, de eso se trata. This is the idea eh, que podamos ir describiendo. Pero vio qué fácil es. It's yes. not a it's not a difficult thing. Solamente esas cositas vamos a recordar. La primera siempre va sujeto a verbo. Yes. I went. She went. We went. Siempre va sujeto y el verbo. Por eso es que vemos sujeto, verbo, complemento. ¿Ok? Sí. Ah, cuando hablamos también. Y luego, eh, uti intentamos ir utilizando estas expresiones como lo acaba de hacer. No Then hay un orden. Later, after, that, and next. Y finally. After that. Oh, esto va junto. After that. After that. After. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Tenés. After that. After that. Af. Af. Una F. Af. Af. After. 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 Nefe. Af. After. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. After. <laughs> Como like Fátima. Learn, After. Learned. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esta es esta, dos, esta es una. Dos palabras que tengo. Que... No, but you know, pero lo está haciendo súper bien. Esto lo acaba de decir bien. Solamente es de practicarlo. After. So, af. Af es una F. After that. After. after. Como cuando after. dice afternoon. Diga afternoon. Afternoon. After Digamos ahora con una F. After. After. Af. After. After. Ajá. Afternoon. After. Me, me dijo una F. Afternoon. Sí. Afternoon. Ajá. Ajá. After. Exactly. After. Ese es el sonido. After. After. Es como que usted diga Fátima. 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 Eh, ah, ¿Qué otro sonido Fátima. lleva F en español? Al, y en medio no se me ocurre ninguno. Alfarja. Alfarja. Es el mismo sonido que va como en medio, el fa. Ah, okay. ¿Ya? So, after. After. Afternoon. Afternoon. Exactly. Ese es el sonido. So it's ah, solamente de practicarles para la historia del jueves intenté, you know, puede escribirla you can write it down, si ya la tiene lista tómele una foto o me envíe el audio lo escucho eh, y vemos si hay alguna palabra que cambiarle en, de ser posible agreguele alguna expresión de estas then, later, after that para ir formando la idea y siempre, ¿verdad? sujeto, verbo, sujeto, verbo mm -hmm. Okay. Super bien, Richard. You're doing a very, very good job. Está mejorando bastante. So, keep Thank it up, you. keep it up. Nos vemos el jueves. Que, Bye. Bueno, yo sé que va a trabajar, pero buena suerte. Yep. <laughs> Have Thank a good you. luck. Bye. Bye.